Welcome to another Stamps by Judith and Heather video. Um, on this video I'm going to show you how to place the pussy willow and other foliages such as the sprig and the leaves in this basket. And the reason I'm going to spend a little time showing that is it's a little tricky sometimes to figure it out when it's got that lip basket in front of the area behind. And then I'll show you a little bit of the coloring on the window box. And like the last couple videos, I do have the color charts for each card and these will be posted at the end of the video or at the end of each card section so you can see them. I'm going to start off with the hanging basket. This one. I'm going to stamp it in our quick drying pad. Quick drying pad for uh, black, excuse me, black quick drying pad for watercolors. Bring it up. Okay, I missed part of it. That's okay. I stamped it earlier and had it done just in case. You can always take not that scratch piece of paper. Take while we're doing it. I'm going to stamp it a second time. And that one I got pretty much nice and clear. We're going to set this one aside and use this one. First thing I'm going to do is grab my Pussy Willow stamp. I'm going to just sort of cover up the basket a little bit. Not worrying about it too much. Like that. Just created a little lip. And I am going to stamp the pussy willows. And I'm not worrying about the fact that I'm coming down and covering the basket. That's what that second one we stamped is for. I got that. We have pussy willows in the basket and then I stamped some earlier and cut them out and those are the ones we're going to use to create the front part of the willows in the basket. Before we do that though, I'm going to grab my sprig in green, hunter green, and just take, add a few sprigs coming out. I create a little grouping of sprigs. And then this other one that we stamped, we are now going to take and color just the basket part in. And I use a variation of colors. I'm going to start off with a soft brown. And then I'm going to grab my green. coloring the whole thing in, leaving some spots open. I'm going to grab sort of a limey green. I'm going to take my light brown again and pick up some of the dark brown create the shadows and the shading on the basket. It doesn't hurt your marker because I have to keep going back and picking up my dark brown. Okay, so we got our basket essentially colored the biggest problem, right lids, right markers. 
and then you would take and cut this front basket out like I did here. This is the part we want. Now I have my pussy willows and I do want to show you how I colored those because they're kind of subtle. I'll stamp one over here and color it so you can see it a little better. There's not, I started off with a very kind of icy blue. Put a little bit of icy blue on the willow part, the puffy part. And then I'm going to grab my brown. Put some on the hull or the husk that is underneath the puffy part. And on the branches. And then some sort of soft blue. And I'm not coloring every little puff in, because that would overwhelm it. It would be too much. Grab some the mossy green. You know, there's not a lot of green on pussy willows when they start to bloom, but there's a little. It. And then I'm going to go back in with the dark brown and hit the highlights, or low lights in this case. And there's your pussy willow. I'm going to come over here where I have some of the pussy willows. And color them. You don't need to color the pussy willows that are down in the basket. Nobody's going to see those because they're going to get covered. Alright. Oops, was, missed the one right in the middle. The brown. And I know right now it kind of looks like a mess, but when it all comes together, it will clean up, for a lack of a better word. Alright, on to the blue. Okay. Just missed one right there. And then our moss green. And I'm going to put a little green on the sprigs too. Okay. And then deeper brown. Hopefully you can see it's already starting to tighten up a little bit of the messy look. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of these guys and I'm just going to hack off part of them. You want varying heights. You don't want them to all be the same. And, see, and then we'll glue that one over the top. And we'll start to get our flowers in there. I'll just use the two for right now. I never do them the same way twice. So move that guy. Okay, and then I'm going to take glue stick and just coat the back of the pussy willow. Shift this over just so I don't get glue all over everything. 
Move that down. Do it to the other one. And I do like scotch glue sticks. I just think they flow well. They don't seem to dry out and get gummy. So there's my pussy willow in the basket. I guess I need this again. I'm going to put glue on the back of my basket. move my glue sheet for the moment and then just glue this right over the top and we're starting to get our pussy willows in the basket now from behind on the stamp you'll see the line going around the back I'm going to preserve some of that you can take a fine line pen and just sort of sketch in a little bit of the line and that'll give you that look. Put a little more color in between the willows. Go back with the blue. Now I have that. I am going to go around and deepen the brown that goes down into the basket a little bit more. That's starting to tie it in. The next step is we have the new three open leaf stamp. I'm going to switch over to my black ink. This is the stamp right there, and tuck some of those around. You can always decide to add more. Now to color those, I'm going to start off with this lime green, same lime green I added into the basket. And this color the pussy willow. This to leaf. And I'm going to grab a brighter green. to the moss green. I want to make the leaves pop out a little bit more. And I'm still going to add a little bit of blue. So there's actually four colors on those simple little leaves. those four colors on those little leaves. Now I'm going to grab my Calypso Kaleidacolor Rainbow Pad and my solid Daisy Stubby and I'm going to take and put some solid flowers And in cases like that one, it didn't stamp real clear. What you can do is cut one out and glue it over the top. I did that on this one in several places. That one's glued over, that one, the one that falls over the lip of the basket. Just take your glue stick. And 
and glue the flower down. You could do that with other ones. Now, to get some of the leaves that are tucked in there, I did the same thing. I stamped oops, and colored them. My fingers are getting sticky. So much so that I'm losing my leaf. With the glue stick. And then you can tuck the leaves into the basket. It's not the one cut out. And you can keep building. And once you have that done, then you can go back in and deepen where shadows may be. Grab a soft gray, go in and add the shadow that makes the basket pop. This is a soft gray. You missed part of a flower like this one. Come back in with purple and just color it in, a little deep blue. You wouldn't even know that part of it is missed. You can keep building and filling as much as you want. And I'm going to grab my dots and blue. Oops, I just realized I forgot something. My flower color right now is kind of spotty. Forgot that I was going to add this little stick. It's a, kind of a bold flower. And that helps to pull the color around the, the hanging basket a little bit. And there's your hanging basket and how you can build and fill it in. And if you want, the one last thing you can do is if you wanted to have your wires a little more noticeable, you can just take a pen and draw them down in there. Over the top, and then you can see your hanging basket wires. Okay, the window box is a very simple card. All I did was stamp the window box and put some little spriglets behind it, but I want to show you some of the coloring on it. I'm going to take and flip this over because I still have glue on it and ink up the window box. And I'm stamping kind of heavy because I do need to re-ink my black ink pad. In fact, we'll do it this way. In case I need to stamp it more than once. There we go. There's my window box. And again, I have the colors for that one. I'm going to start off with my soft brown. And I don't want to overwhelm the flowers. So I'm just going to take, bring a little bit down into the flowers. And there's my soft brown. And I'm going to grab my dark brown. Here's my soft brown. There's my dark brown. I'm going to take my soft brown and pick up the dark brown. A reminder again, it does not hurt your marker to do this. Do not forget to do what I just forgot to do. The little crossbars in the window. Take, add your low lights. 
where the shadows would be, you add a little bit more. If you want to age it a little bit, you could add some khaki or throw some gray in there. It does age it. Now to color the window, to make it look kind of like glass, I'm going to grab an icy blue, and I'm not taking and coloring in the whole window. I'm putting some diagonal streaks, trying to stay at the same angle in each window pane. And I'm going to grab that sort of periwinkle blue and add a few darker streaks. And then I'm going to go back to my soft gray and just kind of put a shadow, soften it a little bit. And there's my glass. So to color the flowers, you can get detailed if you want, or you can just simply add a little bit of color to where the leaves would be in the vines. You can color these ones that are trailing down as leaves, or you could color them as flowers. It depends on what your preference is. I have my mossy green. Go back in with my blue. have it on the card, but you can grab this lime green. I forgot it on the card. It is 133. It's on the card for the um, hanging basket. Add a little bit of the subtle color in there. I have a few little grasses over here. I'm actually going to extend them out. And now you can take and color the flowers. Little mummy carnation things up here. If you want, you can tie a little pink all the way down. I'm going to shade, so I'm going to grab some dark pink, throw some in the little flowers at the top to darken them. Some magenta, oops, got a leaf. There we go. Put some magenta on these. And again, each time I color these, they're all a little bit different. Depends on where I throw the color and where I don't. I'm going to grab some of my deep magenta. So I don't want it to overwhelm. And you can even put color where there isn't a flower, if you wanted. I'm going to grab a little bit of this yellow-orange. I think the flowers have some orangey flower centers. And now that I, my flowers are colored, I'm going to grab my light brown again and go back and deepen the wood of the window box around the flowers a little bit. Get that. So there's that guy. And then I'm going to take my spriglet and my hunter green ink. I'm going to create a very fancy tool here. 
I'm going to use the corner on one side, cover it up, stamp some spriglets, take the torn piece of paper, stamp a few spriglets coming out of the window box, and then the torn piece some spriglets coming out the other side and then I'm going to take tie it in with a little bit of green a little bit of brown or brown blue obviously I don't know my colors right now a little bit of brown for stems. And the last step is the soft gray. I'm not worrying about the light source, I'm just throwing gray in there. And that will color your window box. 